Now, Tom Truce, like myself, know just how much of a problem glare can be because it's a regular complaint that we hear about in practice. That hazy glow around light sources, the super bright beams that seem to split and scatter, making it uncomfortable to see with and even dangerous to drive in at night. That's part of the annoyance of living with glare, but it's more than just annoying. Glare represents a poor optical efficiency within the eye that can either be due to just optical reasons or sometimes disease processes. Now in this video, I'm going to explain how to spot the difference and give you five top tips to consider in order to reduce the impact of glare at night. So whether you're a glasses wearer, a contact lens wearer, or you wear nothing at all, stay tuned until the end to find out what to do if it's not just an optical problem in your case. Hey, welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm optometrist Martin Aguzzi. My channel is all about helping you to see better, see more comfortably and helping you to keep your eyes precious. Now, if you get value from videos on this channel, one of the best ways that you can support me is by engaging in the comment section below, liking this video and also giving the channel a subscribe as well. It's greatly appreciated. Now, let's consider what's going on when you experience glare. Glare happens when light enters the eye and gets disrupted on its path to the retina. The result would be symptoms such as discomfort and reduced visibility. Now, a good illustration is driving through fog with your high beams on. This causes light to scatter, flare and dazzles you instead of helping you see. Now, in the eye, the optical causes of this a glare through light disruption can come from astigmatism, dry eyes and aging lenses or even slight misalignment of the eye. Glare can be also due to disease processes such as the ones that we will cover later on. The good news is that most glare issues are either fixable or dramatically improvable. So let's go through the actions that you can take to help make glare less of an issue for you. So fix number one is glasses upgrades that you can make. Let's start with your glasses and there are six suggestions that I have here. So we'll cover them first in this section. Firstly, I want to suggest that although this is not a glasses related issue, but a big optical issue that is often overlooked is people not making sure that their car windshield is clean and free of grease. So check this out and replace your wiper blades if necessary, because poor windscreen clarity will often lead to significant optical issues that can cause glare problems. Now the second point and regarding your glasses specifically is to upgrade to good multiple anti-reflection coatings on your lenses um, as your first go-to solution. Now this will improve the amount of light transmitted through your lenses and this is important because uh, standard lenses reflect about 8% of the light that hits the surface of the lenses uh, which can then add to the problem of glare because you have this constant veil of light which is sitting in front of your lens and with good anti-reflection coating this reflection is reduced to just 1% which means that light passes through cleanly you get less issues with a strain and clarity problems. Thirdly polarized lenses are a popular choice for cutting glare from reflective surfaces outdoors such as water on the roads but they are tinted in nature as they will only allow 50% of light through in order to achieve this anti-glare benefits so they won't be good for things like night driving. Four is specialized tints such as the FL41 tint which has a rose colored look to it and it helps light sensitive individuals to be able to deal with their sensitivity problems to glare. So it's worth asking your eye care provider about this option or yellow tinted drive lenses that they may have available to improve contrast and reduce glare. And five, UV protective lenses. And these can make a good difference to a visual clarity on high UV days. Now any serious photographer will know the difference in photography clarity uh, between shots taken with and without a UV filter. And six, then some other key things to consider will be things like the benefits of replacing scratched lenses and also avoiding overly thick lenses in your glasses because this can add to the problem of glare. Let's talk about fix number two, the tear film check. Let's talk about your tears and your tear film. I see this all the time, people with glare issues that are actually dry eye problems in disguise. The most common form of dry eye is known as evaporative dry eye, and this problem can cause your tears to evaporate way too quickly, leaving behind a greasy, mucousy film. And when your tear is greasy like this, light doesn't pass through evenly, and this can potentially lead to internal light scatter in the eye and glare. Now for more on dry eyes, you can check out my dry eye playlist that I'll leave over here and link in the description box below as well. 
Now, practical quick fixes to this issue include using preservative-free artificial teardrops about 15 minutes or so before important tasks like night driving or heavy computer use. You can also uh, try and get hold of mucolytic eye drops, which are designed to break down greasy tears if this is a major problem to you. I'll go more into detail about this in my dry eye specific videos. Fix three contact lenses that actually fit. Now, if you wear contact lenses and are still experiencing glare, especially at night, it might be because of your lenses. If you're a hard lens wearer, you want to make sure that your lenses aren't building up mucus and deposits on them. And this is often a problem nearing the end of the life of the lenses, and it may also be an issue if you aren't cleaning them very efficiently. So replacing them or being more thorough with your cleaning may be a fix to the issue. For soft lens wearers, the issue could be poorly fitting lenses that perhaps are moving way too much or rotating excessively in the case of astigmatism correcting lenses. Now for astigmatism, poorly centered or rotating lenses will absolutely increase the issue of glare and streaking light sources. So if you haven't had your lenses checked uh, recently, then it's definitely worth having your contact lenses fitter, check them over, especially as well if most of the glare issues are with your contact lenses on versus your glasses. Fix four lighting adjustments that make a big difference. Now, if you have a long-standing history of glare or light sensitivity problems, then managing your environment is really important. Most people don't realize that uh, lighting environments really does matter as much as eyewear can matter um, when it comes to dealing with glare overall. Some practical everyday steps to consider include dimming the dashboard illumination in your car, avoiding glossy screen protectors on your devices at home, and also trying to experiment with different lighting color temperatures, such as warm white lights instead of cool lighting temperatures, if that works for you. And also consider lighting positions in the home using up lighters instead of down lighters could also make a huge difference to minimizing glare. Also using an angle poise lamp when reading will give you much better control over glare by changing the position of the lamp as needed when doing tasks such as reading. Fix five, get a full eye examination. An obvious cause of glare that people often think about last uh, can be simply down to changing your optical prescription. Now, changes to how much myopia, hyperopia, or astigmatism you have can all play a prominent role in how well light passes through your eye and lands on the back of the eye of the retina. If you haven't had your eyes properly examined in the past year or so, or you feel that uh, there's significant changes to your clarity, then get your eyes examined by an optometrist, uh, specifically uh, mentioning that you have these issues at night with glare and you'd be surprised how many people are living with optical prescription related glare that uh, don't know about it or don't bother to get it checked out. Now, I want to make mention of glare causes that aren't just optical in nature but maybe more sinister and down to disease processes and these are typically conditions that affect clarity through the eyes media and you can tell them apart because they usually have other complaints with them such as um, eye pain, redness or sudden development of extreme discomfort to even moderate bright light. These diseases include inflammatory conditions uh, such as anterior and posterior uveitis, cataract formation, which although is mainly age-related, can have disease-related causes as well, acute forms of glaucoma, uh, where the eye pressure rises rapidly, and these conditions can easily be picked up by your optometrist or ophthalmologist. And the key takeaway here is that any new sudden developments of glare, light sensitivity, or halos around light sources uh, do need investigation, especially if they are accompanied by other symptoms, such as this pain, redness, and other visual changes that we talked about. So we covered quite a lot of ground here. Which of these fixes are you going to try? Drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear what your experiences are, uh, what's working for you, if you're somebody who's got a solution for your glare as well. And uh, do like this video if you've got value from it and also subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.